Hi, I'm David Sadoff, one of the directors here at Wyanagonic. We have a wonderful fleet of Old Town canoes. Some of them date back to the 1920s. One of our missions here at camp is to take advantage of our wonderful lakefront here on Moose Pond. Our favorite way to get around on the lake is in a canoe. We do a lot of canoeing here. One of our last um, programs is Candle Night where the senior campers come in and canoe. Um, and it's nice just having the girls being able to know how to do so. We like to play games with them. We teach them the parts of the paddle. We have level one, which is just basic rules, parts of the canoe, parts of the paddle. And then it progresses into level four, which is sterning a boat and gaining a lot of independence and confidence. Learning how to stern is a quality that every uh, wild girl should be able to have. It's really fun for me because it's very calming to just be paddling out on the lake when there's no one but you in the water and, of course, the other person in the canoe. But it's, it's really calming and relaxing for me, and I find it very peaceful. I still love just paddling out on the water on a trip for multiple hours. We believe that because we live along a lakefront, it's really important for the girls to know how to boat themselves around, um, especially because our tripping program is so important to us here. Um, we start them off young. I've had... 10 year olds sterning canoes um, and I think that they don't see themselves as these strong powerful people and they do something like steer their own boat across a lake and that just gives them uh, such a sense of independence and empowerment that maybe they can do something else that they didn't think they could do. I think that now that the times are changing it's really important for the girls to go back to the basics and try and transport themselves around the way we used to. Our campers learn uh, proper safety techniques, proper paddling, how to handle a canoe, how to load it properly. They even practice how to tip it over and bring it safely back to shore. All of these skills that the campers learn while here at camp are transferred nicely when they go on out of camp trips. It also lets us build these blocks so that uh, we can start with the overnights and the short day trips when they're younger and then by the time they're in senior they've worked themselves up to these five or six day long rapid canoeing uh, trips and they see them as nothing but fun. They're not scary anymore because these kids have, without even really knowing that they're learning, they've learned a huge breadth of skills just by canoeing every single year to be able to go on these pretty advanced level trips. This year I started to learn to solo in a canoe. I'm not great at it yet, but I'm, def I'm practicing. Next year I hope to be able to solo completely on my own. I want to be able to like solo across the pond. I think that'd be very cool to learn how to do. There's nothing like sterning your own canoe.